Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be painting some light colored dahlias. So let's do it. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I have Arches Cold Press Watercolor Paper, my Winsor Newton Professional Watercolors in my palette, my Princeton Snap Brushes in a size, oops, size 6 and a size 12 round. And for today's flower, I'm going to be using this book, The Flower Color Guide, to give us a reference photo. So we're going to be doing kind of like a whitish color dahlia. Um, it has a little bit of yellow, a little bit of beige, a little bit of pink to it. Um, so that's kind of our reference photo. I'm going to put my book to the side just because it's hard to keep in frame, but I will try and put a photo of it somewhere on the screen. But if you are interested in this book, I am going to put a link below. I love it. It has tons and tons of flower reference photos. It's pretty great um, it's for some inspiration, so I will link that below. Okay, so to start, let's mix our color. And again, with white, we never use really white paint. We just make whatever kind of undertone of the color really, really light. So for this one, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of permanent rose. And we're gonna start with this kind of creamish color. Might grab a little bit of um, Payne's Gray. That's a bit too much, a bit more pink bit more yellow. Okay, I'm gonna water it down like crazy. Maybe a bit more yellow. I'll just move it actually over here. Okay, and I'm gonna start with the center of our dahlia. So maybe we'll just do two dahlias. Um, and I'm just gonna do some small curved strokes for the center. And I'm actually gonna use a bit more saturated paint for the center this just small little curves kind of pointing upwards a little bit okay and then I'm gonna start to pull let's see what is that <laughs> there we go I'm gonna start to pull some petals away and I'm just using the light pressure kind of heavy pressure method and then I'm just kind of directing them in different um, ways so a little that way that way and you want to leave your white space in between okay and you can always add a little bit more maybe like yellow just water it down like that wash some off make it a little bit lighter we're just doing these kind of like wispy petal shapes going around you can grab a little bit of pink if you want Water it down to have a pink undertone to some of the petals. You can drag some in, going away, and you're just gonna kinda try and create this like flower dome shape. If that makes sense. Okay, and as we get further out, I'm gonna add more water to my brush so the color of the petals are a bit lighter. And you will see it. I know it's hard to kind of see right now, but you will see it once it dries. Oops. Why did I get that blue on my brush? It's all good. <laughs> Probably from my water jar from before. Okay. And I'm just going to drag these little petals to create this dome shape. And we want to try and keep this wet so we can go back in and add a little bit more color. Okay, so you can see the difference between there's like some yellowy toned ones, there's some pink ones, there's lighter creamish colors. Then I'm going to go back into the middle, maybe a bit more yellow towards the middle. And I'm just going to tap a bit more color towards the middle, make it a bit more saturated there. You can even grab a little bit of pink if you want, water it down, tap some pink into some of them like that. Okay, like that, but you don't want to overwhelm it too much with color, like that, okay? Um, let's do another one over here, okay? So again, starting with a little bit more color. The center ones are a bit smaller curves, okay, and they can be a bit darker. 
Then I'm gonna slowly start making it lighter by just dipping my brush, taking some of that color off, and I'm gonna pull some of those wispy petals away. So I just do light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, and I just kind of curve my hand as I do that. Okay, maybe I'll grab a bit of yellowish tinted light mixture just to change it up. Take some of that color off your brush by dipping it in the water, running it against the side. And just have it going kind of different ways. All right, you don't want it all uniform or like straight out. Really curve those petals. And the key is to also leave white space, okay? That's another important part. Not a lot of white space, but enough in between some of the petals. Like some of the petals will touch. So I touched this petal right here to that one and that one, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of white space around it. If it's hard to kind of grasp, just keep practicing. This is something I've been trying to practice too because it's not the easiest flower I find because there's so many petals and it's hard to kind of get the hang of it without creating like blobs. <laughs> but you will get it, just, just keep practicing, okay? And just kind of loosely, messily do it. I grab a bit more of the yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a bit more color, go closer to the center, maybe even this one too, because it's always a little bit darker in the center, like that. Okay, and now we can kind of do some leaves and the stems, all right? So I'm going to grab my sap green here. I'm gonna mix a little bit of dioxazine purple to make it a little bit darker, maybe a little bit of orange to neutralize it. And I'm going to bring a stem down from this one and I'll bring a stem down from this one. I kind of like when they bleed into some of the petals so if you like that you can do that if you don't you don't have to you can wait for it to dry and then I'm going to do some leaves so I'm going to do a little line coming off of this one and that's going to bleed into that a little bit that's okay if you don't like it you can mop it up a bit and then I'm just going to do some kind of strokes to get that serrated kind of jagged edge for the leaf. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush off a little bit. I'm gonna do one to this side. I wanna make it a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm just doing kind of strokes coming in to get that jagged edge. Like that. And drop a little bit more color. I'm gonna drop a little bit more orange in there. that. Might grab a bit darker green. Throw it in there as well. Okay. This one I'll have a leaf coming down here. And again just a few strokes just to have that kind of jagged edge. more orange like that and maybe I'll have one that hasn't really bloomed so let's do a couple stems running up through the dahlias like that with some leaves I'm gonna wash some of it off to create a little bit of a lighter wash too, a little bit of contrast. I'm just really using the shape of my brush to get these leaves. Let's mop that up a bit. Oops. Like that. And you can add some more color in there if you like. that maybe another leaf 
come in through here. darkness in there too. Okay, just playing with it like that. And then let's see, are these dry in the middle? They're okay, so they're starting to dry. Um, I might do a bit more um, of a layer once those dahlias are dry, just because they're kind of looking a little flat so once they're dry i'll do a bit more i'm just going to do another little leaf here just to kind of balance it out and just adding some darkness like that okay so we'll come back once this is fully dry okay so now that it's dry we can go back in my water is a little green so i'm just going to use my other jar just so i don't get green into the dahlias uh, i'm going to go back in with my peachy kind of color and I'm just gonna do some extra little petals that will just act as layers, just especially towards the center. You can add a little bit more color in there too if you want. I'm just kind of doing some extra little petals to overlap and layer a bit. Okay, a little bit more color. Just want it to be a bit darker towards the center. Wipe a bit of it off. Like that. And like that, just a little bit of something. A little bit more yellow, maybe. And there. And there you go. And you can always, I feel like I could use another, hold on, leaf on this side. Just a little one. Okay. And you can leave your leaves like that. You can make them a bit more um, detailed if you want. You could always add some veins on your leaves. Totally up to you whatever your preference of style you wanna do. I'm just testing it out and see if I like it and can't really go back now. Yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> okay, just using really, really light pressure on the tip of your brush to get those really fine, thin, veiny lines. And actually these dahlias did have a little bit of like a yellow stamen in the middle, so you could always grab a bit more yellow, yellow ochre, yellow cadmium yellow if you want, and just do like a little bit of more yellow in the center if you want, like that. But there you go. There are your light colored dahlias. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.